Neil, uh, welcome to Starks Park. Um, you've been here uh, presenting an early day motion to the club. Uh, for those of us that don't already know, what is an early day motion? Well, it's a mechanism that exists in Parliament for members to either use to highlight a particular issue, and that can be a political issue, or a concern uh, that they hold more generally, or, or to recognise achievements and success in your constituency. And that's something uh, that I made a, 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 a commitment to myself to, to really utilise to recognise uh, success in the constituency. And that can be a very small personal success of a, an individual, but it can also be when somebody has perhaps gone above and beyond. Uh, and, uh, so, uh, for example, charity such as Nourish, uh, um, the, the achievements that they've made locally uh, in the development of their services. Um, but it's also a great way to celebrate success that <laughs> resonates right throughout the community, such as, uh, such as the, the Cup win. So uh, it, it's a, an important mechanism to place on the parliamentary record um, achievements and concerns, and uh, it's a great opportunity to, to really... Um, capture that success and and um, I just felt it was a uh, it would be a, a, a nice way to express uh, the the constituency the town's uh, gratitude to the team for lifting our spirits after two difficult years in covid and a you know and an abandoned championship the the, the year before so uh, for me it was um, it, it was a, a, an obvious thing to do and I just felt it would be nice for the team to to know that that happened and to get their own copy and to present the club with a, a, a sort of commemorative version of it. Yeah. And as to, and as to the, the main reason of the early day motion, I understand that unfortunately you couldn't be there yourself, but um, you appreciated, you, you watched it back later, the highlights, and you appreciated what it did for the club, the community, the town and everybody. Well, I mean, I found out how important it was for the town pretty much straight away because I had another engagement. It was at the Battle of the Bands competition ahead of the breakout festival and uh, Judy Hamilton who'd been a, a judge with me uh, the previous week uh, her and her husband came in uh, straight after the match and so I was delighted I got, I got to find out straight away uh, that that that, uh, that we'd won and uh, it's just of course it lifts everybody's spirits and it's something that I think we all need after the challenges of uh, recent times and, and finally obviously it's a big game you know a, a huge crowd going to be here to, to see Kilmarnock uh, yeah. finish their season uh, and us uh, in our final scheduled league yeah. match you looking forward to the game against Kilmarnock? Um, I am I think our track record against them has been pretty strong and uh, so um, I'm hoping that we'll be able to take a little bit of a shine off uh, their their position if nothing else um, it's unfortunate that uh, you know Things haven't quite gone the way I think anybody uh, hopes would rather be further up the, the league. Um, but, you know, to be in a strong position against Kilmarnock is, is no bad thing. And if we can finish uh, the season off with a, a win against them, that would be fantastic. John, you've just been presented with the early day motion by our local MP, uh, Neil Hanvey. Um, what did it mean to you to have the, achieve, the achievement of the cup final uh, recognised? I think it's a great achievement for, for Race Rovers Football Club, for everyone involved, uh, to get the recognition for Neil Hanvey to raise this motion in Parliament and to be uh, granted it and awarded it. It uh, says a lot you know, for, for Neil to do that and uh, a big honour for the club to receive it. So, yeah, it means a lot uh, that he feels it's uh, a significant uh, achievement and we're uh, you know, very happy to receive it.